What's going on guys? Today I've got a video showing you how I made my AXN have removable wings. As you can probably see from here, I've put magnets in where the wings join in the centre so they, they hold together. And I've put them mainly in the back the back of the wing because if you've got a if you ever have an impact, the back section always pulls out. So I've put like the main amount there. But the spar will still be going in the middle so that will keep the, the wing rigid. Uh, I've actually glued in the form strips underneath that will hold the spar in and uh, for the servos I've actually just cut out this strip so if I ever need to get into there to change the servo I can and then when I like fly the plane I just put that in and just put a piece of tape over the top and that's fine um, so that's the wings I've actually put I've actually put one inside the fuselage right there and now that just keeps it held in even more one on each side there you go um, yeah so that's pretty much it on how I've made the wings removable I'll put some pictures up showing how I did like cut this strip out like the measurements and stuff uh, yeah that's pretty simple mod really uh, some people might not like doing that kind of thing because of uh, like they might want it to be completely solid and rigid but I prefer to like if you did have a really bad crash in this the worst thing that's going to happen is the wings will come off instead of snapping if it was all glued and rigid together something is going to break this has got some give in it so it'll let it uh, not break but just come apart which you can just plop back together um, yeah another thing I've done is underneath you can probably see these little skids so I 3D printed these little skids to go on the bottom uh, as you can see they do come in handy because they're all scratched up already uh, yeah so I just printed both of those uh, if, I'll put a link in the description for those if you have a 3D printer uh, really handy stops the bottom of the plane all getting scratched up when you land and then on the back I don't know if you can see that, I just put um, just an old part of a control control horn just stuck right in there, stops stops the back of the tail getting worn down as well uh, yeah so that's pretty much it and for the insides of the plane you can see if you've seen my unboxing video of my plane and all the bits then you'll know pretty much what they are, so I've got the Orange RX receiver there. One antenna is coming out the side, and then one goes like down underneath. Uh, inside, I've got two 10 gram Hobby King servos and a was it 25 30 amp Hobby King ESC. Uh, really simple plane. Uh, it's just probably took me a maximum of an hour to put together um, the only thing that's a bit tricky is getting the wings in like in and out because you've got to have like this wire lead and the servo extensions and it's hard to get it all in that little hole inside there so yeah that's the only tricky part but for me it's much more convenient than having them glued in because then it's just it's just too big to really store and get around places. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll put some pictures up maybe at the end of how I've made those little things for the server wire. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I've took it out once or twice and I did crush it and it got a bit crumpled up. But it seems to be fine. Um, yeah, so that's it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe.
I almost forgot, but these are the magnets I used. As you can see, they've got 1.47 kilograms of pull strength. Uh, so, because I've got four pairs all pulling together, it's about six kilograms of force keeping the wings together. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll put a link in the description if you're in the UK to buy these. Really cheap, I think they're about £5. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.